Hey guys, so good morning, Angela Montañez here. So I wanted to do another video, shocking, because I'm usually a little flaky with this, but I was um, making some, warming up some milk, and I said, you know what, let me just do another video for everybody and um, just give you guys an idea of exactly what I'm doing these days, um, I guess food-wise. Everything is really, really simple for me. Um, it just works that way when it's really simple. So I'm, um, I'm warming up some milk because I'm going to have a scoop of this, this protein powder, in some warm milk. I actually haven't had any in a couple of days. So I said, um, because I was getting over pneumonia, and I said, let me just wait a couple of days. Um, and now I'm kind of craving it. So I said, okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna do it. Um, so that's what I'm having today. I usually have it at night because I enjoy having it at night as like a warm chocolate drink. And um, and so I'm having it in the morning. So I switch it up sometimes. Um, oops. I also heat up some ginger and lemon. So there's ginger and lemon in here um, with water. And sometimes I'll drink it cool, sometimes I'll heat it up, and um, I'll also drink that throughout the day. And I've been trying to stay really hydrated because um, the pneumonia medication, the antibiotics they gave me really caused me some deep dehydration. So um, one of the things my sister, my twin sister was telling me, she was like, you need Pedialyte. And I was like, I'm not drinking that garbage. <laughs> I'm not drinking that garbage, I'll just get coconut water. I had been having coconut water, but not from a coconut. Um, so it just, this wasn't working well. So I ended up having to go to the ER because I had deep dehydration. And the doctor, well, the, the PA, the physician's assistant was like, you need Gatorade. Okay. You need Gatorade and you, or Pedialyte. And I was like, my sister was telling me Pedialyte. So she buys it religiously because of the kids. And so I have been having Pedialyte with water. I'm actually sick <laughs> of Pedialyte because I've been having it so much, but um, it actually has been really, really helping. Um, and it actually has been um, settling my stomach. Wasn't It, it actually contains milk, surprisingly. Um, so even though it says do not add water or dilute, I had to add water and dilute it because it was very strong. I tried other brands of electrolytes that you can get from like Whole Foods or Fairway or a health food store. Um, and I just wasn't a big fan. There's like Earth's Best, I believe, and there's other brands. You can get them on Amazon, you can go to Whole Foods, you can go to stores. They had an astronomical amount of sugar or sweeteners and I couldn't, I couldn't handle the taste. The kids couldn't handle the taste. It was like drinking candy, drinking Jolly Ranchers, drinking, like it was so intense that I was like, Pedialyte, <laughs> Pedialyte. You know, when the kids come home with like the runs, stomach virus, first signs of a cold, my sister's like, Pedialyte, we're doing Pedialyte. And it never fails, never, never fails. So um, I am usually willing to compromise on a lot of things because I don't know everything. We don't know everything. And if it works for your body, then hey, the more the merrier, right? It works. And so Pedialyte has been helping. And so I've been drinking that with um, water. And then checking out my milk. And then what I do, like I juiced this last night. Let's mix it up here. Um, it's like red Swiss chard. Well, it is red Swiss chard. Um, some some green apples, but they're not tarts. Tart. They're sweet. Um, what else? Lemon, lettuce, celery. I cannot do straight celery juice. I never could. Um, it's just too intense for my body. Um, the the detox of it is just too intense. Um, for many years, I did um, the protocol that Chris Carr did. You know, Chris Carr from Crazy Sexy Cancer, Crazy Sexy um, Everything. <laughs> he 
So I did the the juicing protocol that she did where you take like a, maybe an apple or two and you do some Swiss chard and you do some celery and you do, you know, you add little things in and then you have that right before every meal. And that always worked for me. Like that was a never fail thing that has always worked for me. So I started juicing again because for a while, even the juicing was very intense on my stomach. Um, so even, I, I could blend so I would blend because I needed the fiber so I would do smoothies a lot wasn't juicing as much now I'm kind of back on the juicing just a little bit um and that also has helped it, it also has that's not it it also has ginger I put a little bit too much ginger but the kick is really good for my stomach not too much and um so yeah that's kind of what I'm doing um Thanksgiving is rolling around and so we are exploring sides from Whole Foods because we have a family friend that works there and we're like, ain't going to stress ourselves out, <laughs> not going to stress ourselves out. We're doing, we'll do the, the meal, but for the most part, we'll see how much, how many sides we can get from Whole Foods. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm also doing a lot of crackers. Um, these are like generic that you can find in like a supermarket stop and shop. They're unsalted. I prefer the salted. I prefer the 365 from Whole Foods or they have like the golden, the organic golden rounds from Whole Foods. So I'm really big on crackers right now because they're not so intense on my stomach. I've had, um, my stomach has been in a very delicate balance for the past, imbalance and balance for the past year because of, um, some internal bleeds that I had last year, all throughout last year. And so I'm constantly in this up and down trying to rebuild my gut and, and the bacteria and like everything is like on, off, on, off. And um, so it's been a challenge. So crackers have really helped. Crackers have helped. Um, simple smoothies. You know, a friend of mine has a recipe and it's like spinach, a little bit of pineapple, mango, coconut water, and a banana. Boom. And I can have that every single morning. And it's it's so gentle on my stomach. Um, what else? Just as simple as possible. I'm not eating huge meals. I have little bits of food here and there. And that actually just kind of works, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm really interested to hear what works for you. Do you have a chronic illness? Do you have um, something that's long-term? My situation has been since I was 10 years old. So it's been a really long, long process. Um, and then there was the weight loss that I worked so hard to achieve. And then there was the setback that I had last year. So everything is like an up and down. Things happen in seasons. There's There are ebbs and there are flows. And these are things that have been working for me over the past couple weeks. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what has worked for you. Um, if you want to see more of these type of videos or whatever you want to see, if you want to actually see me go about making stuff, I'm not really huge on making large meals. My Actually, my twin sister is. She loves to cook um, and she makes stews. So when she makes stews, I'll have some stews with a little bit of rice because rice can be heavy on my system. Um, so I'll have some stew with a little bit of rice and I love that, especially since it's the winter time here, I'm in Connecticut and it's cold. I can't do a lot of smoothies that are cold. I've also done fruit. Um, I take berries and I warm them up a bit and I might add a little bit of maple syrup because it can be really, uh, just a little acidic and, um, and that's what I have sometimes. I'll have that sometimes as a nice little snack. Um, so that's what it is. So I'm curious to know what any of you guys have done. How do you balance your system, especially in the cold months or when you're not really feeling well? Um, what works for you? And um, especially in situations that are pretty extreme where maybe you've come out of the hospital, maybe you've, um, you've had like an imbalance, maybe you have a chronic illness, maybe you have something where you're constantly trying to find balance so I would be super interested to know how you find balance and what works for you even if it's not 
whole, holistic, organic, right in vegan. It doesn't have to be vegan, you know, riding any kind of trendy food wave, whatever works for your body type. I'm super interested in knowing. Share with me, subscribe, um, and let's get some type of dialogue going because, you know, in the end, we all need one another. We all need help from one another. We're, no man is an island, you know, and um, I'm in that place where I'm learning and I want to share, but I'm also learning you know and the back and forth is just really really helpful um for us you know as people so <laughs> all right guys i'll see you in the next video and thanks for thanks for joining me bye